What is up? Suck a mother love us. Sir and Rumi Carter is here, bitch. Us. How y'all doing, suck my lovers? Oh my god. Becky, Beyonce, girl, you thought that you was just gonna slide that picture in at like one in the morning and we weren't gonna pop up like bitch. We see you. So Beyonce decided at one o'clock Texas time that she was just gonna go on and post a picture and be like, Rumi and Sir Carter are a month old. Girl, you broke the internet in the middle of the night. Girl, everybody had their eye mask on. People was like, hello, what's happening? Like jumped up quick, like girl. And Beyonce, you didn't have two children to pop up at you. And your stomach flat like that? My homegirl was hating. Yeah, Quay, I'm going to call you out talking about that this airbrush and uh, uh, lipo or something. What'd she say? I forgot what she said, but talking about, oh, it was Photoshop. Girl, don't you ever be hop going to buzz and sting you in the booty. Um, Beyonce looking good. Whether it's airbrush, whatever, she looking good. Girl, you had two children in there because y'all know there's plenty of pictures going around with Beyonce looking like, girl, pull these children up at me now. And uh, people were talking about how... It was obvious that Beyonce had a surrogate because she wasn't this open with Blue Ivy. Well, you guys got to remember, when Beyonce first came out and when she was under her dad's management and even when she was separated from that, Beyonce was still very, very, very private. Even as Jay-Z's new album has came out, we're seeing that Beyonce and Jay-Z are very private people. They literally, I mean, stuff would leak out, you know, Elevator. Clearly, the Elevator gave us three good-ass albums. Hello, but seriously, like, they're private people. So you can't say that this lady had a surrogate just because she wasn't cheering just as much, you know, as she does now. Like, you know, this was another milestone for her. You know, she was pregnant. You know, people, it's just like she's damn but she do, she, she damn but she don't. When she didn't post pictures of her being pregnant, y'all said she have a surrogate. Now she posting these pictures. Now she don't love Blue Ivy as much. Look, I don't know if y'all follow a page uh, on Instagram called, I think it's called Blue Ivy's Black Book, but I think it's spelled like B-L-A-C-K book. I don't know. Whatever the case, it is funny as hell. And now it's a Rumi and a Sir Carter one as well. And I think that thing already got like 3,000 followers and they literally opened it up last night. But yeah, it's just funny. So basically, just as a point of view from uh, Blue Ivy, you know, basically saying, girl, you could never look at my mama slant. It's funny as hell. I like it. But anyway, I'm at work. I just had to come out here and record a video because I was like, girl, you broke the internet. Like, how did you get a million people to like a picture? But if you think about it, everybody overseas was up. So they were like, bonjour, like Meanwhile, the uh, United States, girl, we had cold in our eyes, funky breath. We was jumping up real quick to repost him. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I screenshot the picture, zoomed in, checked to make sure the babies were looking good. I noticed that she was cuffing the baby feet. Then she had the one in the left hand, the one in the right hand. But one of the one that's in the closest to her chest, in the middle. Yeah, in the middle, look a lot more like Jay-Z. I'm not sure who is who yet. Um, I was looking at everything. I looked at her belly button because I was like, why your belly button look like that? It's cool because I guess maybe because you just had babies. And I was even looking at how she tucked her toes in because she didn't want nobody to talk about her toes. I'm be high, bitch, till the day I die. <laughs> anyway, second my lovers, as always, this video is long enough. What do you think about the twins making their debut on a one month, uh, I'm about to say one month, one month, one month birthday? Girl, get it together. It's hot as hell in this car. Y'all know it's Texas. It's probably 95 degrees and it's like 8 in the morning. Anyway, as always, this video is long enough. Guys, I have been sick. Y'all was in the hospital last week. Swear to God. Them people said they was keeping me. I was like, keeping who, bitch? Y'all, life has been tough, but it's okay. Jesus got me. I'm all right. I, did I ain't caught one time in this video. Push through, medicine. Push through. Anyway, all right. I'm out. <laughs>